best mac and cheese in the world. Oprah recommends it, therefore it's probably the best mac and cheese in the world. It's her favorite mac and cheese, so we're gonna try it right now. And then I came with milk. And then it goes like around the corner and inside the building. <laughs> basil jam and goat cheese danish and what we came here for the cinnamon roll all right so last night we stayed up really late and we were playing some card games and we won a bet so ryan was going to take us out for breakfast so this is ryan's treat and we woke up feeling like eating cinnamon buns so we looked up what the best place in seattle would be for cinnamon bun and crumble and flake came up as one of the best bakeries in the city and we ended up getting the very last cinnamon bun that they had so we're gonna try and see and they must be good because they were almost they're sold out now that we got them how is it good that's really good is it good mm -hmm. Ryan, how is yours? Very tasty. Mm -hmm. And the cheese is really good. which if you haven't checked out our Pike Place Market video yet, definitely make sure you do. It's gonna be linked down in the description box for you guys. But we are here, we were craving Italian food. We just got our food and as an appetizer, we're gonna share this bruschetta. It looks delicious, the tomatoes look so good. And then as the main course, Abby and I are gonna share this kind of pasta. I've never had it before, it's called trophy pasta and it is a pesto sauce with um, potatoes, green beans, and arugula. So last night after our meal at the Pink Door, we actually forgot to review it for you guys. So we were like, hey, we'll tell them how absolutely awesome our experience was. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but there's actually no sign. So it's the gray building, Pink Door, just like the name says. And the pasta was incredibly, incredibly good. Um, our service was great, the decor is amazing like I would attend the restaurant just simply for the decor but the pasta was off the charts so we definitely recommend it if you like Italian food. So the other 
Another thing that we wanted to add about the pink door is that uh, after 9 p.m. it does become kind of like a like a nightlife place. So if you have kids, you want to make sure you go for an early dinner because um, you want to be able to take your time. And then the other thing is when we were exiting the restaurant after our meal there, uh, there was a, a lady doing aerial hoop acrobatics literally right there. Like you could be eating dinner and she's like, up in the sky like doing aerial hoop stuff so that was super cool definitely recommend I don't know if you can check it out online when they have that going on but make sure you can catch it if you can so we walked all the way here to Sirius Pie because we heard it they had the best pizza in Seattle so we're gonna order some pizzas try it out and then we're gonna let you guys know if it's actually worth the hype two different pizzas so that we're able to try um, just the most that we possibly can while we're here. So this pizza actually has potatoes on it. It's potatoes, uh, pecorino cheese, and then rosemary. And then this one, we are huge mushroom fans. So this one is seasonal mushrooms, cremini mushrooms, and then truffle cheese. We just finished eating at Serious Pie. I don't know, was it worth it? Yes, it was yes, really it's good. Hundred percent worth it. Their yeah. crust is super interesting that because the best it's almost hollow and kind of flaky. Um, I've never had crust like that before, but it was really, yeah. really, really good. Really good. And the pizzas were very mm -hmm. interesting and flavorful and just overall different. just a plain chocolate cupcake with cream cheese frosting and we're gonna try a mini version of a vanilla buttercream cupcake with chocolate frosting we just finished eating the cupcakes as you can see the aftermath they were delicious we ate every little last crumb that we could so if you want to check out actually more of the flavors that they have make sure to check out our instagram we'll link it below and we'll put out our the handle on the screen for you guys it's at so means broadcast so you can go there to find out more of the flavors. We only got two. We wish we could have eaten 10 of them. Definitely recommend these cupcakes. They were so moist, but so good. We just got to our lunch spot today, and this place is called Japonesa. It's a sushi place. We're so excited. We've been waiting um, and looking for a place to eat some sushi and this place looks really good. It's right on First Avenue in Seattle, which is a really busy street, very popular place. So we ordered some free cheese tempura. How different is that? Really excited to try it. This is a raspberry dipping sauce. Japonesa, we finished our sushi and we walked all the way over here to Pike Place because it's like right there. So if you guys want to make sure that you check out our Pike Place Market vlog, um, it's such a cool and different place it's that different it, city. it has so much to offer. So make sure you go and check that out. In regards to the sushi, it was definitely worth it. It was delicious. Make sure you guys go during happy hour because yeah. the sushi goes down by like it's less than half price. It is less than half the price. Like the same size roll. Yeah. yeah, and it was definitely worth it. 